Hello, this is Javier with a quick tutorial on how to submit your MU4 via the DBO side of the house instead of the BRE option. Now, this is important because if you currently have a BRE license and you intend to continue to do real estate and you submit your MU4 via the BRE, you're going to tie up your license to do mortgages only and no more real estate. And so it's very important that, again, you submit it via the DBO. And here's how we're going to do it. First of all, we're going to go to the NMLS portal and I just simply Google NMLS. That's all I do. Just Google it and you're going to see two options. The top one is the NMLS Resource Center. The bottom one is the NMLS Consumer Access. We're going towards the first one, NMLS Resource Center, which is for licensees or applicants. So I'm going to click on that. It brings me here. At this point, I'm going to go to the upper right hand corner and click on the login to NMLS button, which I just did brings you here into your username and password that you should have from your NMLS initial login information when you applied for the license so log into that brings you here now all we're going to do is go to the filing tab at the top of the screen to the right when I'm hovering right now click on filing you're going to go ahead and at this point have three options individual company access or company relationships now we're going to choose the action titled individual click on the individual which is going to bring you here. You're going to see the request new slash update button where I'm hovering over right now. Click on that and then you're going to continue. So click on the tab that says continue. Brings you here. Now at this point, whether you have one right now or not, you're going to click on the add, which is where I'm hovering over right now. So I'm going to add and it's going to bring me here. At this point, you're going to select your state. Now keep in mind that you have to make sure that you only apply in the state in which you're going to do business because if you select multiple states it'll allow you to do that and it will charge you but they will not refund your money if you happen to not be licensed in that state so all we care about for right now is california california bre or california dbo we're going to click on california dbo that's all you need to do at this point you're going to go ahead and continue next and just follow with the rest of the information that's going to be requested from you and you'll be good to go if you click on the California BRE, like unfortunately so many people do, uh, they're going to take your money, but they're not going to give you a refund or even credit. You'll have to pay all over again under California DBL, which is what I'm showing you right now. As always, if you have any questions, go ahead and call me or text me or get with your trainer. And let's go ahead and get you up and running with Reading Mortgage Bank as soon as possible. Thank you.